Hey guys, welcome to Creating Hanley. I am the Hanley at Creating Hanley and today we are doing something a little bit different. So I was peeling potatoes several days ago. I know this Irish chick peeling potatoes, go figure. And the peeler slipped a little too far over the potato right into my fingernail. So I don't know if you can see that right here. That part. Yeah, that's not good. So my day job, I am a massage therapist and I can't be having this issue because I have to bandage it and then I wear a glove, like a surgery glove. And uh, it's annoying to me. It's not actually annoying to my clients, but it's annoying to me. So I can't continue doing that for a month before, because this will take like a really long time to grow out. So I don't really, you know, I, and I have to use a, a new glove for every client, of course. And um, it's, I don't like it. So I want to be able to use my hands. So what we're going to do today, I went to the store. So yeah, for a week I've been doing that scenario and it's not, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. It's working, but I am annoyed. So I just went, I don't know what brand, but I just went to the store and I brought, I bought this brush on nail glue and you take a tea bag. Yeah, a tea bag. I just have, again, I'm not sponsored by anybody, but this is what I have in my pantry and you empty the contents of the tea bag and you, um, so this is a hack to, to repair this nail. So you just draw, like you kind of trace around the nail and then cut it out and then I did that and I have this little it's actually like a little circle I did too so I had a little circle so let's see if we can do this okay so this is a little nail hack to repair this damaged nail nothing wrong with my fingers my hands still work great um, but just that nail and I and I'm not gonna cut it like I can't cut the rest of it because it's still attached so you can see like this part is unattached but the rest of it is still attached and you know it's not bleeding anymore so so let's try this okay so you just take and I'm gonna flip this down so you just take some nail glue and it looks like you know regular now don't get it close to the cuticle just oh can you guys even see that where can I go so you can see that oh right here okay so don't get that close to the cuticle just paint it on like regular nail polish and for you guys you know what I'm talking about um Paint it on, but keep it away from the cuticle, the glue. And then I have, uh, all right, let's see if we can do this. Just place that on there. Let it soak into the glue. Let the glue cover that. And then I'm going to paint over it again. Again, staying away from the cuticle. And then I cut two. So I'm going to try it with two. Now the thing with this one is it has a... Uh, pencil mark on it. All right. We'll get that on there. Try to, again, keep it away from the cuticle. I don't know if this second layer is going to work, but we're going to try this. A 
All right. So try to make sure that you don't get glue all over the place. Again, stay away from the cuticle. And then once this dries, I'm going to trim that excess off. I'm like really smat. I'm really covering this up. With a lot of glue. So this may take a while to dry. But basically that's what you do. So you take your brush on, or you can use super glue. You can use super glue too. Um, I just got this stuff at the, at the store. And then you just take your tea bag and, you know, cut out, trace it. So you trace your fingernail and I just use pencil. You can use whatever. And then you cut out that circle and then, you know, nail, uh, glue it on. And to be more precise, you might want to use tweezers. You know, kind of dab it on there. And then wait for it to dry. Now, I'm going to go stick this under a hair dryer and see if it'll dry a little bit quicker. And then you just want to trim, like, the excess off. So however you can... Oh, yeah, it's sticky. It's like I got a little spot on my thumb. I can feel it's sticky. So however you exit, you know, trim that off, just trim that off. However you trim your nails, you would just do the same thing with that. All right, guys, that's it. So let that dry, trim it up, and then uh, probably what I'm going to do every so often is I'm just going to repaint more glue on there and just keep that nice and, and uh, strong. If I need to, I'll I'll save this tea bag and then this empty tea bag and then um, if I need to apply another layer or two, I will do that. So if you try that, let me know how it works for you. Uh, I don't know if I can do an update, but maybe maybe we'll do an update in a few days to see how it goes. All right, guys. <laughs> I hope that helps. Good luck. Uh, stay healthy. We'll see you later. Give me some comments about how that's working for you if you decide to use it. All right. Have a good day.